Okay, there's something I just want to make a note on. If any of you are interested in the, uh, the archaeological application of flint napping. Um, so these, these are the last two, well, flakes that I took off. And of course it's not a very good example, but this is what would be called an opposed platform core at the moment. And these two flakes are a good example of what you might see archaeologically to help you identify opposed platform core production. So there's that first one I took off going down this way. And then to fix that I came from the opposing platform and took off this. Now if we were in the Near East Neolithic um, and if these were blades longer blades we're talking like this long at least this is what you would call an upsilon distal termination or a negative so the blade you're going for comes this way and terminates at a point and you're left with this kind of scar here and then you come from the other way you remove that blade and if you get a feather termination here it should keep, it keep expanding until it just cuts out all of this stuff and then it'll just come out into the air because there's no more no more core for it to follow and then you're left with a nice flat face to continue taking more blades off anyways in the future I'll I'll try and do a better better example of opposed platform blade making and uh, try and prepare a nice core on obsidian to further demonstrate what I was talking about here. I'm going to come back over to this side now. See if I can take a little one off here to better prepare this big flake. And this doesn't need to be too big. I'll try not to get too aggressive here. what I wanted. I'm going to try and do exactly that one more time. It was a little bit more than I wanted. Pretty thick flake, thick bulb here. Again, messing up my core morphology. Maybe I can eventually come back this way and fix that up.
Maybe I can just try and use this as a platform. Take off a big expanding flake that'll hopefully overshoot this messy part right there. And then I should be left with a decent core afterwards. Now, this isn't the best angle to work with. It's pretty much 90 degrees here. But I do need to overshoot a bit. So I'm thinking if I just use this one, smack it real hard, right in the center of this platform here, maybe a quarter inch, half a centimeter up from the edge. Give it a real solid strike so it can come and overshoot and end here. Let's see if that happens. Kind of awkward to hold like this. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to do. How about that? Could definitely make something out of this. Okay, core morphology more or less back on track. Gotta fix this up. But this face looks pretty good. We're down to the good flint in most parts. Bit of a bump here. We'll have to get rid of somehow. Can't really that's not the right angle down here now to come from this way that should be okay I'll be able to take blades off from here first bring this edge of the platform in a little bit and then we can try and work on getting the rest of it in there too <laughs> 